This week on Life on Jupiter. After a successful haul out, now the hard work begins. All right, day one of haul out. Hopefully, you only here a week. Then. So, we've got J jobs and P jobs. P. <laughs> J, you're, you're J and MP. Correct. I how got did, three. How, how did you work that out? <laughs> um, so I'm going to do the rudders, the daggers, and just check that they're sealing all right. I've got to replace anodes. I'm going to do prop shaft seals, check on those. Cutlass bearings. And I've got to see if I've got spare cutlasses. Anyway, um, holes. we're going to check the through holes are strong, give them a bit of a wobble, make sure they don't break. <laughs> um, I wanted to replace them, hey, but um, mm. you can't get the right thread here. It's NPT thread, I think, here in America. And all my valves are um, BSP, British. So um, You will change it once you just get an adapter or something like that. Not an adapter, I need to buy all new valves. So I didn't want to do that, so we'll double check that they're still in good condition. Anyway. Mm. I've got to look at the sink, the galley sink. Um, yes. The windless solenoid, I don't have to do out of the water, it's just that now that we've got the chain out, I can get into the chain locker easy. So, mm -hmm. probably do it. Yeah. And then polish top side. Your jobs, maybe. What I wanted to do that. Maybe dinghy paint, but I've got to ask them if we're allowed. You're not allowed to we're, sand here. We're as far allowed as to paint, right? Yeah, but not allowed to sand. You got to well, sand before they, you paint. They'll sand for me. Since they're At gonna sand. At seventy dollars an hour, they'll sand for you. Yeah. But it's not big. It's just a dinghy. And we're only doing the outside. Is that right? And then we're going to lose the I name. Wanna, yeah, I want to do the inside because that's the one you talk about. Your first priority is to wash down the boat. Mm -hmm. Start with the cockpit here because it's just so filthy and we walk everything inside. And then, because I can't really pa uh, polish until you've finished washing down because you're going to wash all dirt down the top side. So that's your first job, wash down. Mm -hmm. And I've pulled the chain out now, it's on the ground, so we're going to wash the chain may even need to scrub it in places yeah. also the especially vinyl. especially scrub around where we're going to paint the, the markers um, and it's on the stones down there so it should stay fairly clean and once it's dry we you know we'll lay it all out in four meter lengths and then paint all right we're gonna get to work mm -hmm. guys hot sweaty yeah. you're okay you're playing with water first job. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go. Part of the agreement with this boatyard was that they do the anti-foul. Now although we'd rather not be paying for it, this was actually quite nice to avoid the horrible job of sanding and of course limited our exposure to the poisonous paint. And it left us to get on with more interesting jobs. I'm trying to stop the rudders from filling up with water because the, the rudder shaft is hollow and rainwater just gets in. Uh, I did have plugs we made last time from breadboard from UHP, yeah, ultra high density, UHPD. I can't know what it stands for. But they uh, the glue didn't stick to this. 
server. Now, using a bit of plywood instead. Just gonna sit those there. do for now and then later I will do it again. So I've already taken the zinc off. Uh, the zinc normally goes here and if the propeller shaft was to come undone from the engine if it became loose came out the shaft would slide down only as far as there. It's captive by this. So a bit of a safety feature so this is the p-bracket and inside there is a cutlass bearing which I'll show you it sounds complicated but it's not it's just a piece of uh, some of them are made of metallic but this is just rubber and some sort of resin fiber hard and see it's corrugated to allow water in to keep water flowing around the shaft so it doesn't overheat so it uses water to cool itself so that sits inside there and this one's three or four years old and you can see it's a little bit of wobble it's not much no, in fact i thought about not changing it but we've got a lot of motoring coming up. We've got a thousand hours of motoring down the, the Great Loop. So I might as well change it. It's actually... <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to change it now. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Mm. Have a look in here so that's the stern tube i filled this one with sikaflex and barnacles <laughs> i put them there myself um, if you were to bust the dripless seal in there that restricts the amount of water that can come in so any growth or barnacles or goo it up with sikaflex just reduces the amount of water that can come in so also a good idea. I'm, not, I'm going to leave it there. I'm not going to, not going to take it out. It's only just sitting there. Though. Ah! <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll put a new one in. And now, challenge is to get this cutlass bearing out. It involves, because it's glued in, it involves uh, getting a hacksaw blade and cutting this way and then breaking it out with a chisel and hammer. Not much fun. Hey, can you grab the cutlass bearing out of the, it looks like a toilet roll. Okay. Out of the toolbox. This one? Yep. Alrighty. Where's the paper gone? What paper? It's not a paper. <laughs> um, it's not a paper. So here's the P bracket, new cutlass bearing. Just got to glue it in there, yeah? I'm just got to clean it out a little more. There's the old one that I, I had to sort of break it up with a screwdriver and a hammer. And, uh, Is that really the what it looks like now? Or yeah. you break it? Well, I broke it to get it out. It looks like that normally. Yeah.
That was a reasonably productive first day. Had to stop by about three o'clock though. Uh, so hot. I, up in the cabin there, it says 38 degrees Celsius. That's hot up there. Down here is nicer. But I uh, got prop shafts out. Got the old cutlass bearing out. I just got to tidy it up, clean it up, and then install the new ones. Uh, I shined up the anodes. I'm not going to change the hull anodes. They're fine, at least for another year. What else did I do? Oh, the rudders. Rudders come off. A little bit of maintenance on the scratches. Bit of primer and uh, now the anti foul will stick nicely. Just gonna put them back on. And a bit of a sad event about to happen right now. I'll show you in a second. by Raptor. Finally going to his resting place. So today I am going to start a job which I've been putting off for four years. Um, hasn't been a critical job, but anyway, the fuel tank, so I had two fuel tanks. The starboard tank, I got a diesel bug infection uh, back in Langkawi, Malaysia, four years ago or so. And the growth, luckily it was only the one tank, but the growth in there was rapid. You know, like I actually go to work for four to six weeks, and then when I come back, and it was just bad. All the walls and the, and the floor of the tank are covered in this growth. Um, looked at many ways to combat that. Instead, the easier solution was to simply add the Starbright enzyme treatment, which kills the diesel bug. But of course, it never cleans the tank. The tank is still covered in all this dead growth. Um, so four years on, we're going to open up this tank and clean it out by hand. And thankfully these tanks are very accessible with the catamaran, uh, well with this catamaran, the, the tank fuel tank is under the cockpit floor, very accessible. The only thing is I've got to drill out about 60 rivets and that gives me full access to the tank. Otherwise, I can get my hand in up until about here around the tank but that is not going to clean it sufficiently even princess's arm won't reach the, the very front of the tank so we're going to open it up clean it out we're going to hose it out salty uh, soapy water and uh, clean it properly of course the first job is to drain the fuel tanks at some point i'm going to need you to i'm going to have my finger on the hole and I can pass you this and you've got to pass up the next one, okay?
Let's get started. 